Almost a year ago, I did the most impossible of things ever. I rolled a joint and then I gave it to my dad. Yeah, thank you. No, not to get him high, but he was suffering from a kind of pain that it wasn't able to cure. No amount of painkillers were able to relax him, and finally, the plant did. As I watched him relax completely, I failed to observe who I had just become. For I had helped heal someone for the very first time using a simple plant. The same plant that has been tabooed out of our society as a bad narcotic drug. So hemp, um, um, hemp has actually really uh, extremely strong fibers. And uh, each acre of hemp actually creates more biomass than any other plant that we know of. And hemp seeds are extremely nutritious, and each acre of hemp can give us about 500 kilos of seeds, which can be extremely nutritious per, for our body and then very, very essential. And then more importantly, the hemp stock can be converted into clean biofuel. Each acre of hemp plantation can give us 4,000 liters of hemp fuel. And most importantly, the medicinal side of it. The hemp flowers are one of the most medicinal things known to man. I don't know what you're going to take out of this talk, but believe me, don't believe anything else otherwise that hemp is, uh, the ganja is actually one of the most medicinal plant known to man. As I learned about all of these things and new information, I was very excited to uh, f f visualize you know, like what we could actually create uh, a better world. So as I, uh, I was amazed to realize that you know, like hemp has so many benefits and uh, it, it's extremely important for mankind to use it. And uh, people judge a lot about uh, cannabis and ganja while they enjoy every other legal toxic intoxicants. How did we get to this point? Because we've been using cannabis for over 10,000 years. And we've been uh, using it for rope, we've been using it for fiber, we've been using it for medicine, clothes. And our own Atharva Veda says that Bang, as we note here in India, is one, of the mo one among the five most sacred plants known to man. And our Ayurveda actually did not fail to recognize cannabis as one of the most powerful medicines on this planet. Thousands of uh, uh, years of history was completely deeply rooted into the Indian culture. A plant whose culture was so deeply rooted into our history, which was also happened to originate on this very own land, on this very own land had thrived with its medicinal, spiritual, and domestic applications for many centuries, until the West decided that they cannot make easy money if this plant is let loose. And they decided to ban this plant across the world, because the plant had become a threat to a lot of existing industries back then. And, then, and the then government's in, intentions of prohibition was to nothing but to save their allies from the multi-billion dollar companies. Cannabis was banned and falsely propagated as a bad narcotic drug in the year 1937. India resisted to outlaw the use of holy plan initially, but with constant pressure from the Western governments, they finally gave in and countered the use of the plan for the first time in 1985. During recent years of addiction, which have come to be known as psychotropic substances and have appeared to the scene and posed serious problems to the national governments, there is no comprehensive law to enable exercise of control over psychotropic substances. This is actually the definition that has been given in the NDPS Act. Two things are extremely funny over here. Firstly, it's, they've mentioned it as a new drug of addiction. Cannabis is not an addictive thing. The scientists haven't been able to find any receptors which actually keep craving for cannabinoids. Unlike our daily caffeine and other things, cannabis is not addictive. And new drug is an extremely funny thing because India has been using this plant for almost thousands of years. And it does not possess any kind of threat to the people. Not to our personal health, not to our ma mind, but in the law itself, they've defined that it actually poses serious problems to the national governments. So after I became my father's own healer, uh, I, I did not really think about healing anyone else after that. But when there is a dying patient in front of you and when you actually know how to cure them or uh, at least help ease their suffering, it, it, it's highly immoral to actually sit back and watch and let them suffer. I don't know if you guys know about this, but cancer is pretty beatable. 
There is this guy called Rick Simpson, with, uh, who created the high concentrated cannabis oil extract. And he has used this oil on himself and he got a skin cancer and then he cured himself, it's been 15 years. And then he proposed, uh, all, he put, put, put forward all of this information into the internet where people were able to access this thing and people cured themselves all over the world. Hundreds and thousands of patients have already cured themselves from cancer using this simple cannabis oil extract. So what did I do? So when I had the very first patient uh, in front of me, you know, like when she was on her deathbed, I made this oil for her and then I gave it to her. All of the information was actually available uh, online. So Leela was actually dying from a, a very advanced stage of stomach cancer. Right after her stomach, her pylorus region was completely blocked with tumor cells. By the time she got the oil into her hands, she hadn't eaten anything for about 28 days, and she was vomiting for about 15 times in, in a day, because whatever she eats or consumes, everything is going to come out. And after I gave the oil to her, within about three days, she stopped vomiting completely. And within about a week, she was eating three meals a day. And not just that, I let her continue her treatment, and after about three months, we got the call from Leela's family, and then they finally said that uh, she was completely declared cancer-free. <laughs> it was very overwhelming to learn and understand that cannabis oil was actually helping her out, while the mainstream industry is actually poisoning the already deceased can cancer patients using toxic chemicals such as chemotherapy and also radiation. Many thousand people have already cured themselves uh, using the cannabis oil extract to heal not just from cancer, from neurological disorders, from muscular impairments, from uh, autism, from epilepsy, and any kind of pain-related issue, or be it anything, including diabetes and thyroid problems and blood pressure, and basically taking their stress out of life. When the stress is removed, the diseases are gone. So we have been struggling you know, like in a very difficult world right now. And I hope that um, we, we can actually use cannabis in the future to completely rejuvenate not just ourselves, but also our society, our world, and our families and friends. Thank you.